Hi guys, welcome to the Techno Galaxy. Kam is here and today I will be doing an honest GetResponse review. GetResponse is a tool that we're very familiar with here as we used it for many years for our own campaigns. Describing itself as an all-in-one online marketing platform, GetResponse certainly boasts an impressive feature list, which includes automations, CRM, landing pages, and even an option to run your own webinars. But how well does it actually deliver as a newsletter tool? Is GetResponse up to the task of handling your email marketing, or is it simply a jack of all trades? Let's take a look and find out. Before we dive in, a quick note about pricing. Higher plans also come with unlimited emails, which is very nice to have. The basic plan offers quite a good range of features. However, those who want access to marketing automation will require the plus plan and higher, which is a little pricey. I found GetResponse mostly easy to navigate, thanks to these quick actions in the dashboard, which help you to quickly get to where you need to go. You simply click on the feature you want to access. For example, let's create a newsletter. The first thing you'll be asked to do is enter all the campaign details, such as the list, subject line, and from name. You can then choose from one of GetResponse's email templates. There are plenty of templates and all are mobile responsive. I want to create my own design, so let's choose blank templates. I'm going to choose this three column layout. As you can see, it's super easy to edit the elements that come within the layout, such as images and text. For each element, you've got plenty of options to customize appearance. Here's my email ready to go. It's great that GetResponse gives you this mobile preview of your email, as well as options for spam and design testing. The main things they can improve would be to allow you to change styles universally, for example, heading fonts and colors, and to add more content elements such as image carousel, countdown timer, testimonials, etc. How powerful are GetResponse's automations? As it turns out, it's impressive. GetResponse's automation options are endless, and you get more options on higher plans. You'll see that there are plenty of templates to help you build out an automation. I just want to set up an automated email to welcome new subscribers who join our newsletter, so let's choose this template here. I really love GetResponse's workflow editor, which is flexible and easy to use. To edit the steps in the workflow, you just double click on the step, which will open the properties tab. Here, for example, you can select the list you want to associate with the campaign. You can then click on the next step to choose the email you want to send. To add additional steps to the workflow, such as new conditions or actions, you just drag and drop it from the add elements tab. Connect steps by clicking this dot. You can even set multiple paths, for example, assigning different actions based on whether or not a contact click a link. GetResponse also do a decent job of reports which are found under statistics in the email marketing section. For each newsletter, you can view open, click, and social data, amongst other metrics. It's also possible to compare the performance of different campaigns. Additional data includes subscription-based information, including where subscribers are located, and also statistics on how your automation campaigns are performing overall. There's plenty to be impressed by with GetResponse. In our opinion, it's one of the most powerful tools available for the small to medium business market. Despite its long list of features, it's surprisingly easy to use and we like the range of email templates, their detailed reporting, and fantastic automations. There is not much to criticize with GetResponse, but if we had to pick, we'd like the automations to be made available to lower tier users. Our tests also show that GetResponse's deliverability rates could slightly be improved, although these can fluctuate. And just to remind you that you can join GetResponse by clicking the link in the description. We hope you found our video useful. If you have any questions about GetResponse, just leave us a comment below. So that's it for the video, guys. Take care and stay safe out there.